Welcome back to Educator.com and our final pattern of organization, the somewhat abstract and not always easy to understand cause and effect. So in this lesson, we're going to go over, again, the four ways to think about causes. And then I'm going to go over what the term factor means, what, I, what writers mean when they talk about the several factors in some phenomena or something you see. Then we're going to go over something very simple and learn what a process is. And then I'll just give you two examples. This is a cabin. Now, why am I putting a cabin on this picture? Well, I'll, sh I'll tell you. The cabin is the effect. Why is a cabin the effect? Well, turns out absolutely anything. Anything you can think of, anything you can touch, anything you can feel could be thought of as a cause. Oh, excuse me, as an effect, as an effect. This is an effect. Now, there are four causes that made this effect of this nice little cabin up in the woods somewhere. The first way to think about the cause is that there was an idea that caused this cabin. So somebody thought about, well, we need some plans, we need some blueprints, and we need a kind of an outline for the cabin, and we're going to plan it out and structure it before we start building it. Now, of course, blueprints don't just magically become a cabin. You had to get some material to make the cabin, so let's get some stone. Let's get some brick, let's get some brass pipes, let's get some lumber and some roofing, and, you know, let's get some, you know, I don't know, some, you know, something for the bathroom, some tile, whatever it is we need. We need all that stuff. Now, once you got your stuff, you don't just truck it to the location and then walk away and expect to turn to a cabin overnight. There's a third type of cause, and that's called the efficient cause. The efficient cause is the actual organizing of material into whatever it's going to become. So in this case, the efficient cause of the cabin is workers pounding in nails, you know, maybe somebody digging a trench. You can just imagine a whole bunch of construction workers getting all together to build that cabin. And the final cause is actually sometimes cause the final cause, but we'll call it the purpose cause in this case. And so what we want to ask is, well, why build this cabin at all? I mean, why bother? Well, you'd answer that question as, well, it's a nice place to live. It'll be a nice place to go on vacation. It's cozy. You know, I just want to get away for the while. Whatever it is that would inspire somebody to build a cabin. That's what the purpose cause is. So, we have four causes. Here's how we think about them. The idea is a what question. The material is also a what question. Efficient is always, how did the material become the effect? The purpose is, well, why bother at all? 